Hey everybody, Ben here. There was a question on Blender Artists about arrays recently, and I just thought, let's do a quick video tutorial of how to use an array effectively. So I just deleted my default camera and default lamp, so all I have left is my default cube. Press the number seven to get into top view, go into modifiers, apply the array modifier. Now, these are the default settings for the array modifier. We'll have relative offset checked. Um, based on this user's question, I think what he would want to do is disable relative offset and use object offset. In order to use object offset, you have to shift A, give yourself something to offset with. I'm gonna use um, an empty, so empty plane axes. There you can see it there. There's my empty that I've created. And now if I select my default cube in the array modifier, I can choose the empty as my object offset. Go back into my cube. Let's change our count to something larger, like say 12. If I select my empty again, now it's gonna move all of them, okay, in the manner defined by my empty. Now, how is this useful? Well, let's do this. Let's take my empty and let's move it. Uh, on the question, the user was trying to create a circle, it looked like, so I'm just gonna turn this a bit. In fact, what I think I'll do is I'll, I'll just match up this corner See that, and match up the little corner of my two squares. Click with my left mouse button to set my 3D cursor there. And then I'm just gonna change my pivot point to be my 3D cursor for my empty. And I'm gonna press, I'm still in top view, press the R key to rotate. And I'm just going to rotate that until it matches up. And now I've created a very nice circular sphere based on the position of this empty as seen by the array modifier, and there you have it. Now the trick here, and the point that this user points out, is as soon as he moves his object away from the center, here I go, it says everything goes crazy. And you're right, everything does. And the reason for that is because the empty, or the array modifier, looks for the relationship between the empty and the origin of your object. So as you move your object, and the empty stays in the same spot, that difference changes. Okay, now it's higher, so now everything's gonna be moving up in steps and it's spaced out more. So what you can do is, well, two things you can do. I'll do the way that I think is less effective. You can take your empty and parent it. So I select my empty, shift click my cube and press control P and parent that. The reason that's not my favorite is because now if I move my cube, you'll just notice that kind of shake that it does. See how it shakes? It's not a huge deal, but basically the array modifier is trying to update itself. And you can see here it looks wrong, but if I just, just move it a tiny bit and it gets back into position properly, it's in the right spot. But sometimes it has, as you saw there, problems parenting. Let me undo make parent. And instead of doing that, what I'll do is top view, I'm going to add another empty. Let's make this one a sphere. And I'm going to move that sphere to the middle of this guy. That looks pretty good. I'm going to select my cube and my empty, and then last select my sphere, control P to parent that. Now I can move this center empty and nothing shakes because the two objects are in exactly the same spot the entire time. I can move that around, let's see. And there you go. So a quick example of how you can use uh, the array modifier to create this circular shape using an empty. Most important, perhaps most important, that people miss a lot is you have to uncheck constant offset and relative offset. Uncheck them both and only use the object to do your offset. Three offset options. You can use more than one, but usually you just want to use one. And I find that often people are using both relative offset or constant offset and object offset, and then they don't understand what's going on. And then set up your parenting structure so that my sphere empty is the parent to both my cube and my object offset empty. All right, that's it. I hope you found this helpful. Have a good day.